What's going on guys? This is Barker, back with another NBA video talking about the NBA. And yes, I have a hat on because my hair looks like shit today, but that's not the point. Today, I'm making a NBA Mock Draft 2021 post lottery. Now that the uh, positioning is set, Pistons got the first pick, I gotta have my Mock Draft. I'm doing the lottery only because those are the most important picks and I don't want to make a 30 minute video because who cares about the second round? But the first pick is kind of obvious. Detroit Pistons, my Detroit Pistons, are picking Cade Cunningham. An absolute monster. Can play 1 through 4, 20 points per game at Oklahoma State. Absolute monster. 5 rebounds, 5 assists. Number 2, the Rockets. I have them picking Evan Mobley. Uh, it's going to be interesting because I can also see them picking Jalen Green. But overall, I think Evan Mobley fits their team better and... Putting him alongside Christian Wood, I think, can be a great addition. And adding extra defense in the paint is always a good idea. Even though I'm not a big fan of drafting big men that early in the draft who can't shoot that well. Number three, Cavaliers. I have them picking Jalen Green from the G League Ignite. He's an absolute monster. I made a video where I said he's debatably the first overall pick in this draft. And I still believe that. He's a monster. He was ranked higher in high school than Cade Cunningham. Cavaliers get a steal here at three. Number four, Toronto Raptors. I have them selecting Jalen Suggs. Jalen Suggs was an absolute monster on Gonzaga. Had an undefeated season, almost an undefeated postseason as well during March Madness. He's not amazing at one thing, but he's just overall an amazing player and good at basically everything, especially athleticism and defense. Number five, the Orlando Magic. Obviously, they're in a major rebuild, so I have them picking the guy with the highest potential at 5 in Jonathan Kaminga. He didn't shoot well for the G League Ignite with Jalen Green, but he showed he has high potential. He's one of those big forwards that always get drafted high in the draft, and they're either boom or bust. You don't know. They're either going to be a superstar or they're going to be in the G League two years from now. Number 6, Oklahoma City Thunder. I have them picking Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes played for Florida State. He's an amazing defender. Kind of reminds me of Draymond Green, not an elite shooter, but has really good playmaking and defensive skills. And obviously, the six foot nine height and long uh, wingspan adds to his ability to be a great NBA player in the future. Number seven, the Golden State Warriors. I have them selecting Davion Mitchell from Baylor. Absolute lockdown defender, amazing three point shooter. And it's good to have a guy like that on Golden State. So when Steph Curry gets off the court, they can have a guy who can lock down the other team and stop the bleeding so they don't give up as many points when Steph Curry's not on the floor. Number eight, the Orlando Magic. Again, the pick from the Bulls from the Vucevic trade. I have them selecting Keon Johnson. Uh, Keon Johnson broke the vertical leap record at the Combine. He's an athletic monster from Tennessee. He has a high ceiling, and I just see Orlando Magic just kind of picking the highest ceiling guys at their picks. Number 9, the Sacramento Kings. I have them picking Jalen Johnson from Duke. Marvin Bagley's future in Sacramento is a big question mark, especially since he just likes something on Twitter that says he wants out, basically. And obviously, their forward positions are probably the weakest out of all the positions on their team and center, so I have them picking Jalen Johnson, who's a good... Uh, floor spacer and good at the four for them. Number 10, the New Orleans Pelicans. I have them picking Moses Moody. Great player. I believe 16, 17 points per game this season. Great three-point shooter. And since Josh Hart is most likely going to leave, I can see him kind of replacing him in the lineup. Number 11, for the Charlotte Hornets, I have them selecting University of Michigan forward Franz Wagner. He's a sophomore, so he's a little older. But he has the NBA body. He's six foot nine, long arms, can shoot the three ball, has amazing playmaking and defensive ability, would fit really well on the Hornets, and could be kind of that guy who could be a backup for Miles Bridges when Gordon Hayward's injured, because he always gets injured every single season. So I think they really need a backup forward, in my opinion. San Antonio Spurs, they love their international prospects. I don't think that changes this year. And Josh Giddy, a six foot eight point guard who I think can fit really well on that young Spurs team. He's a project, obviously, but I think he has a high ceiling and one of the highest ceilings out of these guys in the late lottery. 
Number 13, the Indiana Pacers. I have them selecting James Bucknight. Amazing three-point shooter. Can really be a six-man for this Pacers team. Honestly, the Pacers are only a couple pieces away from being one of the best teams in the East now that they got Rick Carlisle as their coach. Number 14, the last pick in the lottery, lottery I have Golden State Warriors selecting Kai Jones. Kai Jones, in my opinion, there are a lot of better players that they could pick at this position, but they really need a center who can space the floor and is not undersized. Kevon Looney is not doing it for them. Kai Jones can play the four and the five and is a really good three-point shooter and has a high ceiling in my opinion. And guys who kind of got left off the lottery who I could still see being drafted that I didn't mention. Corey Kispert, Gonzaga, amazing three-point shooter. Isaiah Jackson from Kentucky, he's a freshman. Has a high ceiling as well but can't shoot the three ball like Kai Jones. That's why I had Golden State selecting Kai Jones. Trey Mann from Florida, he can really shoot the hell out of the ball when needed. And Jared Butler, if he can deal with those heart conditions, he's one of the best rookies in this draft. Let me know what you guys think about my mock draft. Is it dog shit? Did I do a good job of saying who should go where? Let me know. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Road to 200 subscribers. Honestly, it's more road to 150 because we're at 127 right now. Please, any support is appreciated. I'm going to college and working. Working. As you can tell, I'm very exhausted because I keep fucking up my words. Any support's appreciated. I work my ass off. Peace.